Welcome. Welcome to the lighthouse um, for 30 minutes of meditation. Super glad to be with you. Um, so for today, we're going to um, work with a few different meditations that will help us to uh, access and accelerate and refine the way in which our life energy is moving through um, a longitudinal um, trajectory, through the latitudinal trajectory, um, and in a way that's gonna help to um, create longevity and the vitality of the life energy. Um, so I'm super looking forward to this meditation. It's going to be long. Um, it's going to be really elegant and eloquent in its um, way of connecting us to the umbilical cord of our own creativity. Um, this umbilical cord that was there before we took form and came into our bodies is here now for us and will enduringly be there for us um, as we move through time. So in essence, we're using today's meditations to reach out and to take hold and to ride the flowing wave of the umbilical cord of time. And it's that umbilical cord that um, allows us to become better allies with flow and with freedom and really quite importantly with fulfillment. Um, I've been meeting with a lot of people individually who are speaking about a kind of um, dehydration in their fulfillment department, if you will. Um, and so really have a very imaginative, wide open eye during today's meditation for the hidden waltz that wants to be noticed and that is waiting to dance with you and that has so much to reveal to you. When, when we can find the hidden waltz and when we can participate in this hidden waltz, then that's when we start to hear the language of destiny in our lives. It's being whispered to us um, from the inside of our inside. Um, we pick up on the language of destiny in the world around us in the form of hypersynchronicity, in the form of um, resonance, in the form of having experiences that would have previously been described as being impossible. So lots to muse upon. And for myself as a practitioner, um, um, for myself as a practitioner, having some element of muse, a muse force in my life is, is really a kind of non-negotiable um, in order for me to feel like I am vibrant and healthy um, at all the levels not just at the molecular level, but at the, at the level of insight, inspiration, and impetus. So a lot of terrain to cover. So take this moment, if you haven't already, to get your body really comfortable. Um, I'm actually, I'm sitting on two blocks. Um, so I have these yoga blocks underneath uh, my buttock bones today, and I've got them just pushed side by side. And that makes a really comfortable way, a very sustainable way to uh, sit on my knees for a long period of time. Um, much longer than I would be able to do if I were not seated um, on the blocks. So you can do this seated on a block. You could be just sitting on the floor. You could be on the bench. You could be in a chair. But if you're in a chair um, for today's meditation, be sure that the, that the chair doesn't have arms because we're gonna be really working with a lot of Naga energy. So it's gonna be like there's two sort of, there's definitely this umbilical cord that I was speaking about, but there's gonna be these sort of two serpents of energy that are moving around and through the latitudinal and longitudinal um, matrices of your body. Um, so you're gonna to need to be able to move your arms out uh, in really in all directions, up, down, side, and back, okay? So take this moment to get comfortable. So sitting comfortably, we'll begin here in a second. 
and take a script, get a screenshot of the current yantra in in your psychology. What is the design in your mind right now? What is the design also in your energy body right now? And then use the meditation, use the breath and the movement in tandem to create a kind of um, atomic restructuring of any of those geometric designs so that uh, the freedom and the fulfillment can flow um, in a more uninhibited manner through your organism so that you can be played more beautifully. Um, so watch here. There's a fly in the house. Um, so the dog is, is jumping around looking, <laughs> looking at the fly. So I'm going to bring my right hand in front of my belly and I'm going to bring my left hand back behind the right hand but behind the body okay so we're creating alignments we're purifying the alignments and the designs of the yantra so watch I'm going to call and demonstrate all the nuances I'm going to bring the left arm out in front and let it hover in front of the right hand and then I'm bringing the left hand up to the level of the heart and then opening it out to the side and then bringing it back in and bringing the right hand up in front of the face and back down to hover in front of the hara and the left hand up in front of the face and down to hover in front of the heart and the right hand up in front of the face and then up over the crown of the head two to three inches of space between the body and the hand. Now bring the left hand around front. Let it move in the same way that a snake would. Now lift the left hand up to the level of your heart and then open the left hand forward and to the left, looking to the left. Bring the left hand to the heart center, hovering it there. Bring your right hand up to the face and down to the hara. And left hand up to the face and down to the heart. And right hand up to the face and up overhead. Turn your gaze to look over to the left and now move the serpent arm out to the right, looking to the right, and then bring the energy back behind you with the right arm and drop your left hand in front of the hara, looking forward. Bring your right hand out in front of you. Let it hover in front of the left hand. Bring the right hand to the heart. And then open the right hand, looking to the right. Bring the right hand back to the heart, looking forward. Left hand to the face. And left hand to the hara. Right hand to the face. And right hand to the heart. Left hand to the face. Then to the crown of the head, look to the right. Now look to the left as you move the serpent out to the side and bring the left hand back behind the body and drop the right hand in front of the hara near the navel. Bring your left hand out in front and lift the left hand up 
to the level of the heart. Take it forward and out to the side. Look to the left. Bring the left hand to your heart. Be aware of what's going on in your belly. Bring your right hand up to the face. Right hand to the belly. Left hand to the face. And left hand to the heart. Right hand to the face. Up overhead. Look to the left. inside of the meditation. Find the hidden waltz. Bring your right arm around and lift the right hand up to the level of the heart and open it to the side. Finding the hidden waltz. Right hand to the heart, looking forward. Left hand to the face. look to the left and move the serpent out to the side and back behind the body. Drop the right hand so that it's in front of the hara and look forward. Bring the left hand around, becoming a better ally with flow, a better ally, becoming a better ally. Lift the left hand up to the level of the heart and take it forward and out to the side to the heart, right hand to the face, and to the belly, left hand to the face, and to the heart, right hand to the face, and up overhead, look to the left, look to the right, open the right arm the serpent back behind the body. Drop the left hand to the hara and look forward. Bring the right arm around and up to the heart and forward and out to the side and back to the heart. Left hand to the face. to the face, right hand to the heart. 
in your insight, in your expanding range of awareness. Looking forward, drop the right hand in front of the hara. Left hand is going to come around into the heart. Forward to the left. To the heart. Right hand to the face. Into the hara. Left hand. overhead. Look to the left. Look to the right. And bring the hands down into that magnetic core center. The biocosmic orb of energy in the ball of the belly. Right hand is going to fan around. Up to the heart. starts happening when you start cultivating longer and longer pause between the inhale and the exhale. Sophisticate the whole dance, the hidden waltz, simply by breathing more fully. Let the breath bring you into a greater experience of aliveness. Bring the left hand in front of the right hand. Drop the left hand, bring the right arm around.
lift the right arm to the heart, take it forward and to the side. Back to the heart. Left hand to the face, tuning in with the longitude, the longevity of your vitality and inspiration. Right hand to your face. Right hand to the heart, left hand to the face, and then up overhead. Look to the left. Good. And now hover here, right hand in front of the hara, left hand back behind the hara, behind the body. Very soft, quiet beingness. When becoming is unbecoming, letting go of all of the storylines, the beliefs, the concepts, the opinions, dropping the knife, being as you are, at least for this moment, impulsed, courting the infinite. Bring your right hand to the top of your lap and then your left hand to the top of the right hand. So moving into a second practice here, we're going to tap in some of the crossroad centers of the face, the head, and the chest, and the side body a little bit in a way that is a, it's a very complete circuit um, that, will, that will awaken you in a beautiful way, in a really um, rapid, uh, it's a rapid set okay so we're going to use um we're going to use primarily i like to use the tips of the middle fingers and the ring fingers so join me by tapping right between your eyebrows in the brow center you don't have to tap hard it can be very very gentle breathing in a really audible manner Elongating and extending the inhalation itself. Elongating and extending the pause after the inhale. Elongating and extending the exhale. And elongating and extending the pause after the out breath. Still tapping right here. Now move the fingers to the temples. Open the doors. Opening the doors. We know that the umbilical cord of time is, is going to continue to open doors. The umbilical cord of time does that. But as practitioners, we can then become more proactive, more proficient, more precise at um, having a hand at which doors are opening, how they're opening, when they're opening, and what we pull through. Keep riding the wave of your breath. Riding the waltz that is the movement of the umbilical cord. Experience your spinal column as a kind of umbilical cord. It's connecting you. It's empowering you to become a better ally with flow. Drop the fingers down, down to just below the eyes. You are on the firm part of the face, not just not in the soft tissue just beneath the eye, but on the firm part of the face, tapping here.
Now move the tapping hands to the sternum. Inhaling deep, elongating and extending and expanding the breath. And then expand and elongate and extend the pause. Do you have a moment where you're not quickly into the whole upper chest. Create a breakthrough energy in the fascia so that you can breathe more deeply, so that you can trust more fully, a continuity of trust, a continuity of creative flow. And each and every one of us is creative. We needn't isolate the word creativity to you know, have to do with all things artistic. Absolutely everyone out there is generating and organizing and delivering something of tremendous meaning and purpose and worth and contribution in their unique spheres of influence and your unique spheres of influence. Bring your hands now to the sides of the ribs. This is sort of uh, structurally the most challenging one of them all, but really important to get the marmos of the side body open, magnetically pulling a frequency of consciousness through your molecular body, irradiating your energy body with it. Go up and down the sides of the ribs, down as low as you can go and up as high and towards the armpit as you can go. Inhaling and pausing. Exhaling and pausing. Place the other hand into the bottom cup. So you've got a double cup. And then hover those cupped hands, your cupped hands, in front of your hara, hara so you're not uh, physically resting them on the lap, uh, but hovering them there. So it's my sincere wish for you that you will continue to uh, participate in the hidden waltz of the day, in the hidden waltz of, um, of your life, of this unique time that we are in. And you know, regarding the umbilical cord of time, so much is happening in terms of a reconfiguration of consciousness in our world right now that many, many doors, many portals are opening um, that we can choose to cultivate a quickening through. We can, we can speed up our awakening by not staying stuck. And every time you meditate, that practice time represents a detachment from any kind of stasis, stasis consciousness and puts you, you know, it gets you square in the saddle of being uh, an ally with flow. Um, so thank you so much for being here. I hope you feel very much alive and connected to your unique inspiration and insight and impetus. Uh, Sadnam, namaste.